Take two, multiplayer bonus round. That's right, if you were a lovely patron and donated a few dollars, well, this is what you get. That's right, one of the videos this month, and we have a special guest with us as well. Ah, it's yeah. me. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Theo here. Rippa. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they see you all the time. <laughs> Not last week. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's well, right. that was like a request. He got you. They're there. like, we don't want him there this time. Yeah. And they're like, well, they're gonna get me this time. Well, yeah. god damn it. If you are watching <laughs> this on YouTube, well, then cats out of the bag. This is actually a timed exclusive. That's right. We will be releasing this on Patreon uh, one Friday or every other Friday, and then the Friday after that, it will be on YouTube. So if you want to get this in the more relevant kind of way, because we're kind of coasting off our last episode then you should definitely visit our Patreon page at patreon.com slash multiplayer and uh, donate a dollar, because that'd be great. Be Ooh, nice. Be very nice. Helps us out, and we help you out and giving you more stupid things that we say. <laughs> yeah, you get more <laughs> cool shits. Exactly. But yes, I'm your host, Guillermo Dorado. Today we have, of course, Javier Ortiz, Hello. returning host as well, and then we have a new guy. A new, uh, Look at this guy. A new face, a new voice, a new yeah, talking head. It's, uh, it's a good voice. Yeah. I like to pretend I have a very decent voice. <laughs> Better than Zach. <laughs> Theo Rippa, buddy, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for excellent having, having me. You. Yeah, yes. dude, it was excellent having you on the first episode. Now we get to go dive in a little bit more casual yeah. in the bonus round. Yeah, we just like relax. Yeah, yeah, super yeah cash. just like, oh, super cash. Just unbuckle, yeah. <laughs> like, we just wanted to tell you guys, like, this This is actually just going to be us just taking a nap for like 15 minutes. Very experimental. Minutes. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> it's really hip. We touched on that last time. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, I think that it, you know, myself, Javier, and Zach, we all kind of told uh, our viewership about what we love in video games, our personal little histories about where we started playing and becoming hardcore gamers yeah. and stuff like that, and where our love for the industry came from. So I think it's uh, kind of nice to, to let yeah. the viewers also hear your story. My story. Yeah, where, where did all this love for video games kind of come from? Oh man, uh, super broad, but dude. Yeah, no, no, it. totally. You dive no. in anywhere. No, you I, I, because, because I, I can specifically remember this. So we grew up in my house. We had an Atari Twenty Six Hundred. <laughs> oh shit! And um, like, yeah, it was just weird. We just like had it, so I'd mess around, and you know, it was like it just appeared out, yeah. out of the ether. Yeah. It, was it was there. Just, just there. Oh, sure. I you could you know. only play ET on it. It was the worst. <laughs> yeah, it was god awful. <laughs> now I remember uh, uh, Pitfall was a lot of fun. Fuck yeah! But like, it was never like. I never looked at games and been like, this is what I want to do every day of my life, or this is what I want to look at. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we got an NES. Uh, that also appeared in my house. And, you know, we had... We had <laughs> Dude, where do you live? Like, I don't know. <laughs> riff it was weird. Space you know, but you know, memories as a kid, just like, it just doesn't uh -huh. click and it doesn't work. But, yeah, so... You realize it's just like, one of your parents, like, please, just love me. Here's yeah. a game. Like, <laughs> well, oh, cool, it disappeared. <laughs> Damn it. Well, my brothers, my brothers were... So much troublemakers. Like they were like getting injured every day oh, and gosh. all this shit. And I remember, I remember how, and then flashback to you oh, stabbing no. your brothers. <laughs> <laughs> but like I remember, okay, this is a really funny anecdote. Is I remember uh, as a kid, for whatever reason, I took my neighbor's big wheel off their yard and I rode it around and I got really far away from our house <laughs> and the cops brought me home. And then my dad, I was like young. This was preschool era i was like 17 yeah, i was 17 it was really young but you no know, my dad my dad looks at my mom he's like i don't want to do this again so like i didn't get to go into sports i didn't i didn't do extra oh, I, thought I, didn't have a, I thought you meant have a kid he's no like, have a kid I'm yeah done. no no <laughs> fuck this yeah, so like, he's like no fucking kids yeah force like, you to be inside all the time then? not not always inside but like they just they just didn't want me to be as wild and rebellious so oh, i actually didn't okay. learn how to ride a bike till i was 13 um Jet. yeah crazy shit but really enough you came on a bike that was so yeah like, yeah, good yeah. For you. so so really like... I, I really changed, <laughs> i really turned things around and, and started <clears throat> riding bikes and shit anyways this is all <laughs> long form to go around into i remember getting the legend of zelda and the, what legend of zelda you what? might have heard it. it's a little indie game oh, okay. it's a small oh, okay. uh, they didn't really make too many of them uh, is that the one with the spaceship <laughs> and you're flying around there's a big monkey head and you shoot his palms uh, close. Close. <laughs> <laughs> no cigar. <laughs> no, okay, so yeah, so your first Legend yeah, of Zelda. And, and I just remember, because uh, I was always a very imaginative kid, and when I picked that game up, it's like, holy fuck, like, you get to explore so much stuff, and then you go to school, and you're like, yo, I'm playing Legend of Zelda, and then some kid's just like, man, did you know if, that, if you go on this screen, you can burn this bush, and there's a hidden path, mm, and yeah. that blew my fucking mind away as a kid. <laughs> like, I was yeah. like, holy shit 
Like, there's this, there's more to this game instead of because, you know, you're so used to. Secrets to uncover. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, because you're used to just the side scroller and you're just like, oh, pew, pew, pew. Mm -hmm. You go, you do the thing. But Zelda seemed like, uh, you know, just as wide open. You, yeah. And yeah. then as soon as you find out, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, you have, song? if you go on this screen and you burn down this bush, that's where the final level is. Yeah. So in Zelda, the first one, you can go to the final level as soon as you get the candle. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so that like that opened up my world to where it was like, oh, I need to have every video game that I can possibly <laughs> get my hand on. My mom didn't like that because it's very pricey. But oh, when yeah. I started it's doing chores and stuff, hobby to have. Yeah, it's very expensive. But hey, you introduced it. To, you know, like that's my, my my dad as well. Like he never really understood, uh, you know, why I love video games so much. But he was like, fuck, I bought him the first. Yeah, we got the second goddamn Genesis. So I guess. <laughs> I shut the fuck up. Yeah. You know, like, so. He's like, well, you reap what you sow. You reap what you yeah. yeah, yeah, but you know, my mom never was super opposed to it. As long as I got my shit done, yeah, same. Um, right. You know, play as many games as you want. Um, yeah, and then after that, it went, went from NES to I think we got the Sega Genesis next. Um, loved the hell out of that. Then eventually got a Super Nintendo. Yep. Nice. Man, uh, and I played some fucking weird ass games for that that I remember. There's this weird game I never remember the name. You're like a cybernetic uh, ninja samurai thing, and it's steeped in Japanese folklore. I know what you're talking about. I know that game. It's fucking. I don't weird remember the shit. name, but yeah, I know I that can game. Never remember the name. <laughs> I know yeah. that game. That's the name of the game. Is I don't remember that name. <laughs> it's the, <laughs> the yeah. name. It's so <laughs> weird. It is. Uh, yeah, and then and then after that, um, I managed to get a PlayStation One. Yep. And, you know, going from Super Nintendo to PlayStation 1 just cracked open. Like, what was your first wire. game on the PS1? First game for the PS1. Mine was, I'm trying to think of it was mine. Looney Tunes. It was like a... Oh, I remember mine. It was baby Looney Tunes. Like, it was a point-and-click adventure. What? It was awesome. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. That's weird. It was like... It, it was like like the magic beans or the case of the magic beans something. it was like a it was a kind of a rip off of like Never Jake, heard of you this. know the, what is it hey, Jack Jake. and the Giant Beanstalk yeah. yeah it was weird and then oh, okay, I'm sorry to cut you no, off no, did no. you guys ever play Bugs Bunny and Taz uh, why is it Bugs Has and Taz been. Partners in Time or what Time Busters Time Busters no. No. it was a co-op game on the PS1 one person played the Tasmanian Devil and the other person played Bugs Bunny and each what? character had their own like unique set of abilities that you had to be like okay well, I can't spin to turn that knob, so I have to like make a hole for you to travel in as Bugs Bunny. <laughs> and you go. It was really awesome co-op play, and the game was kind of fucking hard. Yeah, yeah. I miss that game. I've only oh, ever played man. one Looney Tunes game. It was uh, Looney Tunes Basketball on Super Nintendo. Oh, sweet. That was a fun one. <laughs> Which one? I remember playing like the Tasmanian Devil game for like Super Nintendo. There's one for that Game was Boy weird. too, wasn't was it? it? Probably. I think there that's was because that's, that's, that's when they were like, okay, we have one for the the the, the, the Super Nintendo yeah. version, the Sega Genesis version, and the Game Boy version. Yeah, yeah there definitely it was, was. It was. I remember a my lot. my cousin was obsessed with Tasmanian Devil, and she had the Game Boy. And she had a Tasmanian Devil game on the Game Boy. I remember because I remember him just doing the spin thing. <laughs> That's, all <I> <laughs> like, yeah. That's all I remember. Tasmanian very fuzzy Devil game is weird though for like the consoles. Uh, like there's just like these weird monster stuff. It's yeah, it's what? actually a pretty solid platformer. Yeah, what happened to Looney Tunes um, I mean, video games? I guess like it just became. I mean, I don't really think it ever anymore. had a big impact on video games. I, well, it had a big impact license, on my life. License cool. games though, like died. <laughs> with, yeah, that's with the thing. The, uh, yeah. Probably like the PS2 era. That's true. Generation. Yeah, really yeah not much kind anymore. of kind of along with the mascot. Uh... Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, you are awful. Guess who it was? Zach from the grave. Ooh. Of course. A piece of shit. Bring me back on. Fuck you, Zach. Yeah, no, I'm... you're dead. I'll kill you Stay again. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, man. Anyways, okay, so going back. So, yeah, so you got the, the Super Nintendo. You played games you couldn't remember the names of. Yeah, <laughs> no, I just, I just always somehow found a way to find any of the weirder games for consoles, like PlayStation 1. A game that I will always love to this day is called Incredible Crisis. Okay. <laughs> Sounds kind of oxymoronic. It is so weird. Like, you play... Uh, different members of this family and they're each having the worst day of their life or the weirdest <laughs> oh, day so you like so the dad his storyline is he falls in love with this woman at work but then uh, a wrecking ball like first you you there's like a dancing rhythm game at the start this of this game and you have game. to do this and then eventually you have to outrun a giant boulder because then you there find was, out you're Parents, the family divorces, and the kids have to figure out. Who There's gets almost some, it covers some weird, serious Jesus. shit like that. 
<laughs> but so like, weird. And then at the end of the game, there, there's like an alien subplot thing that happens, and like the daughter <laughs> finds this alien, and then takes them through, and then all the stories convene. This is just your really roundabout way of telling us, like, your family's history. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, like, my family's history is And then video game consoles start to disappear. Like, how yeah. did you come across a game like that? I, um, like, we had, okay, so the, the, uh, in my area, there was a Hollywood video, right? Nice. Oh, yes! I love Hollywood video. God. But, I know, I used to, I worked for a, both Hollywood video and Game Crazy. Oh, oh, nice. My Two of my favorite jobs that I've ever had. Like, even even making it and doing shit, yeah, I dude. still look back fondly on, on those That was days. my dream job as a kid, to work oh, at a video yeah, rental same. store. It's so Phoenix fun. Yeah. Stuff you like. I mean, yeah. you have to deal with a lot of stupid shit because people don't understand movies. Yeah. But it's so much fun. Yeah. Uh, but when, when Hollywood, Hollywood Video, you would have your main staple games, your, mm-hmm. your mainstream sort of things. Mm-hmm. But we had a little video store called Super Duper Video, which surprisingly just closed... This year, no. it was one of the last Super in my duper. area. Huh. Yeah, it was so cool. But they would have sounds like a parappa the rapper. So location. many games. <laughs> it, it does a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's but cool. They, that's they would cool. have like random games where I'd just be like, "This looks fun," or you would just see weird advertisements in like EGM, which was my jam as a kid. So then, what would you say your favorite game is? If you could like Oof. really hone it down to an all-time <sighs> favorite. It's a difficult one. It's, but like. it's hard. I, I would say, like, you know, first I would narrow it down to, as a series, which would be Legend of Zelda. Boom. Then I would have to course, narrow that yes. down to Zeldas, and I'd, I'd probably stick with uh, uh, Link to the Past. <sighs> Fuck yeah. That's so, my favorite I'm one, so, too. Yeah, I'm so excited to revisit that game on the SNES Classic. I cannot. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I still have the cart and the... And the actual console, console if you want I, I never the... I never got to play it on the Super Nintendo uh, I, I played it through the virtual console on the Wii I mean I have it I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait I'm wait gonna wait, wait, wait till you get yeah. that yeah. <laughs> she actually managed to get one I did what I, I managed to get pre- Hav, Zach and I managed to get pre-orders for the SNES Classic we had to murder some people I but should've I, just, I should've just hung out with you guys the key is you need to be awake at 2 in the morning when Nintendo releases these things bullshit. for some reason Such bullshit yeah it's it's pretty dumb it was well, fucked up because when that happened I was asleep and you guys woke me up in the group text <laughs> message you're like, welcome ding, ding, ding. Well, no I didn't read the text I was like shut the fuck up I went back to sleep and then I woke up at like 6 in the morning and I just read the text and I was like, no! <laughs> See, pay attention to what we said. Yeah, man. But hey, it's you okay. You can it. come out next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll I managed to get the mini, the, the NES classic. That was sweet. Uh, but I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky and find one. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. They said they're going to ramp gun. up production. I could get a gun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll just, Halfway there. I'll, just find I'll a person. And one. then I just go and I just like go to uh, Nintendo go of America. Just, yeah, be like, yeah, give it to me. Hold Reggie hostage. Give it to me. Find Frank, who's making all the models. Um, okay, so so you're, that would Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. That's the yeah. I, I, I'd you. probably yeah. Oh, you're welcome there. Uh, you're I mean, there's so many games that have influenced me in so many ways, but nothing uh, like the Zelda series that I can just coincide. Every Zelda release can mm-hmm. coincide with a major life event for me, which okay. is insane. So okay. that's why I have. Nice. That's so awesome. It's just like right so here for me. Yeah. Yeah. They really open up a whole new way of experiencing video games for me personally as well. Like experiencing Ocarina. Of, uh, Ocarina of Time for the first time yeah. like, by watching like my older friends play when I was younger blew, blew me away blew me yeah. away yeah. so here's a here's a question for you how do you feel about edible underwear no how do you feel <laughs> 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 uh, no so if you had the choice this is kind of like a little section that our segment I would like to call like warp pipe dreams okay if you could pick two games or like you know like some, some mechanics from a certain game yeah. if they mesh or had a baby what would what would that game be like? What are some games that you love and you wish you would see like just an amalgamation of both? If you could oh, think off man. the top of your head, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> I definitely want more entries in horror, yeah. like straight up like mainstream horror, because we got like Outlast, which is okay, but we don't have is uh, I mean. Resident Evil 7 was a really good solid return to form mm-hmm. of the horror thing, but it still had so many tropes of like this thing. But I want another like Silent Hill classic like Silent Hill 2 um, those type of horrors where there's one level that is your physical horrors that are going on and the other level is the mental horrors of, mm-hmm. of you as a human yeah. dealing with it yeah. and the character dealing with we don't really have a lot of those uh, things so I would say 
fucking give us like a Silent Hill 2 again. Yeah. We almost got PT, which uh, I think would have done it, but, but so first close. I still haven't played that. Oh, Zach has on his console. Ooh, you played gotta it? do it. You I gotta do it. You oh don't make your shit in your my, pants. Yeah, man. Oh, perfect. My I've first, been meaning to do that. My <laughs> first reaction when I played it was I, I, when it happened, when the thing happened, I was like, oh shit, and I threw my controller <laughs> in the air. Was, I can't imagine you being like, you've been a little bit vehement on this show before, like, a little angry or like upset, but it's just such in a, a, a really like I keep it even level. keel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty it's like yeah, very moderate like yeah. peaks and valleys of your thing. So I would love to see you get actually like, super scared and start throwing things around. Yeah. I feel be like, ah <laughs> yeah, like, ooh, I, th- I think, yeah, ooh, 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 ooh kind of going back to it, I think if we did, like, Silent Hill 3, or, like, a Silent Hill whatever, with what they've done in Hellblade, especially uh, with the... I was going to say that, too. Just think about that. Just hold for a second. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I know. No, that'd be I awesome. Made, that, and I, I was talking to Zach about that earlier. It's, like, games, you know, especially with, like, a game like Hellblade, you know, it's technically indie, but it's the first game I've ever played where... That you don't necessarily. There are some instances where you don't rely on visual cues. Yeah. Sound and, and it's like so it's beautiful. so like if a game you're right like if you took Silent Hill and I hate you cat <laughs> <laughs> but if you took a game like Silent Hill and it's like play this game with headphones yeah because we're gonna sound mix the shit out of it yeah, I think and it's gonna be amazing. That's a good answer, sir. That's yeah. a great answer. Yeah. Well, welcome, Theo. Uh, I really appreciate you. I mean, everyone here at Multiplayer really appreciates you coming out and filling in for uh, Zach. <laughs> yeah, I love that's like your laugh. <laughs> it's a me- <laughs> little thing. So <laughs> kawaii. Yeah. yeah, it's like, hey, thanks. <laughs> no, but it's been, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. It was awesome, and we I'm sure we'll be seeing you again yeah. in the future. Hopefully. Uh, I'm going to give this kind of open up the floor for you to, you know, tell us a little bit about your podcast oh, yeah. and, uh, and what other stuff you're doing. And cool. We'll, we'll uh, yeah, here. me and my friends kind of... Uh, uh, decided we were like, fuck yeah, we want to talk about movies and pop culture and whatever. We mainly cover a lot of comic book movies, uh, very little video games, just because. Uh, that's our job. Yeah, that's your <laughs> job. Yeah. Do not infringe we're kind on of our family. Job. You guys, <laughs> we can merge. Yeah, we yeah. can. Multiplayer uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, so we, we cover all the geek news and shit like that. And then, um, so that's our podcast, Analog. What's it called? Oh. Analog. Done. And what we do is then uh, we also crack open at the our bulk of our episodes. We do like a deep dive on, um, I don't know, uh, last week, which episode disappeared. Uh, sadly, it got corrupted. Oh, but what, no. we, what, what we deep dived into was uh, um, how DC Cinematic is doing Elseworlds. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this opening up the multiverse. And that was cool. a lot of fun. Um, and then on Super Deluxe, I was fortunate enough to get a show there, which is a video game show. So now I, I kind of impede on this. Show. That's okay. Well, uh, we, yeah, we, we love to the share more, this The more coverage, the better. For sure. Yeah. You, and what's you, the show called? That one's called Played Out. That's over on Super Deluxe. And we just, I'm just trying to make video games fun again. Hell yeah. Uh, in, in we a can work very in unique, A very unique artistic voice, I guess. Well, You're going to make games great again, huh? Yeah, make, great, make games great again. Not <laughs> here. Not here. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, again, if you are a patron, Patron that uh, donate to the show to see this a uh, week early. We really appreciate you doing that. Thank you so much. And if you're watching this on YouTube again, let me reiterate: head over to our Patreon page. We have some more, uh, you know, besides the dollar that you can donate, we have a lot of other incentives that you may may pe- tickle your fancy, pique your interest, <laughs> you know, tickle your balls, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Give them fucking money. There you go. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. You can also follow us on Twitter and on Instagram at Go Multiplayer to see all the links that we talked about and see some extra like tidbits of you know us and Theo and all the good stuff yeah. and then our personal uh, Instagrams myself is Guillermo, uh, Guillermo underscore Dorado at Instagram yeah Instagram Twitter at Mas Dorado Theo where can they find you? Uh, you can mainly find me on the Instagrams uh, Theo <laughs> underscore Ripper perfect Hav. and uh, I'm on Twitter at Multiplayer Hav nice Ooh. Zach is at Zach Mascanis and we have Mick Wood who's at Mick to the Wood on both Instagram and Twitter and Nathan at Multiplayer Math the best so, guys, thank you so much, and we'll see you next week on the bonus round. Bye-bye. We love you. On behalf of Multiplayer, Mario would like to send a special thank you to Jaden Lawrence, Arturo Mendera, Mercedan Kroll Pitaru, and Mario Dorado. Thank you so much for watching. Woo!